Hello everybody, in this video I will let you show you what are the new features of Windows 11 build 22581. Build 22581 is also being flighted to Windows Insider in the beta channel. Now that the developer and beta channel are receiving the same builds, a limited in window has been opened for insiders to switch the channels if desired. The tablet optimized taskbar feature which began rolling out with B build 22563 is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev and beta channel. As a reminder, this feature can only work with devices that can be used as tablets. It does not work on laptops or desktop PCs. Several fixes to the taskbar are there such as the top borderline now extending across the entire taskbar will be seen for everyone regardless of the device type. Keyboard focus or mouse hover for Win32 tray icon and the show hidden icon flyout has been updated to match the rest of the visual style so if you go there this has been updated as you can see the flyout to match the rest of the visual style of the taskbar you may also notice that the drag and drop is no longer supported to the pin or unpin this items drag and drop is no more supported you can't drag and drop all these uh, and you can show or hide these icons by right clicking on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings from there you can go to other system icons and you can turn off hidden icon menu that's it it just goes from there or you can disable certain icons if you don't want them to show up there so for example Microsoft's OneDrive as you can see it is visible here you can just disable this to remove it from here and it will be moved up to the more icons page so basically you just need to do a couple of more steps to achieve the same thing that was easier or in the earlier builds in build 22557 they introduced new links in settings to give customers give their pc a second life or recycle it these links will disappear when updating to the less, latest builds that is 22581 and higher builds those will come back later in the future they also made a fix for another issue causing taskbar previews to use the wrong fonts for window titles in the languages other than english when dragging and uh, something to pin to the taskbar the message on the dragged item for displaying if it is not supported for example the cross that were displayed has been updated to have rounded corners so for showing this let me just open the browser and go to the downloads folder from here you can just drag and drop something like the this one and you try to pin it over here as you can see the icon has been changed to have rounded corners because it is not supported now mitigated an issue that swiping to collapse the tablet optimized taskbar might unexpectedly invoke the widgets board in the start menu they have updated the context menu uh, when right clicking on pinned apps on a pinned app to say move to front instead of move to top so it is clearer that what will happen so if you just click it you can see that it moves up here a clock app update has been also presented so if we open to clock app and go over to settings we find that the version number has been updated here to 11.2202.24.0 and has rolled out the that fixes the issue where the clock app was unable to update the windows focus state when configuring focus sessions in the clock app there are uh, they have also made some small adjustments to some of the icons used in the context menu and the command bar so you can just go here as you can see some of the icons here have changed including the copy icon folders whose only contents uh, which consist of other folders so let me just create another new folder here now we'll show this uh, a slip of paper as you can see to indicate that there are contents inside the folder a very subtle change that they have done to the icons might not be even noticeable to the eyes of a normal user if you set the keyboard focus to desktops in task view as you can see here now they have rounded corners so as you can see with the keyboard focus there are rounded corners now there are also several more fixes that are coming in this build the entire document can be found in the below link this uh, build does not come with new feature but mostly fixes the previous problems with additional small features here and there as because uh, i think the windows bug bash uh, is currently going on so they are trying to remove 
bugs from the builds as you can see here so definitely both the beta and the dev channel have received the same build here i don't know what is the uh, features of the beta channel currently so because i'm using the dev channel here so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe for more such content i'll catch you in the next one